Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the slope of a line. And medyo mahaba yung video natin because we will talk about the concept and the different types of slope of a line and as well as the ways on how to get or calculate the slope of a line. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, slope of a line is defined as the steepness of the line or yung inclination ng line. Yung iba naman, they are referring the slope of a line as the change in the values of y over the change in the values of x in a Cartesian plane of a line. So we have here the formula of the slope of a line, slope, and this letter m denotes or represents the word slope. And that is equal to the rise over run. This rise is classified as the change in the y values or in the y axis while your run refers to the change in the x axis. So let me demonstrate to you where is the rise here. So as you can see, we have here a straight line and we have two different points. Now for us to, to calculate for the slope of a line or to count for the steepness of the line, we only need two points from a straight line. So here, as you can see, going up, we have here this one, two, three, four, five units. This one is your rise. Because it is known as the change in the y values or in the y coordinates of a line. Next. This one, this part here up to here, two, three, this is your run. So in this case guys, we can calculate the rise, we can calculate the slope using this formula and ito yung pinaka concept ng ating slope of line. So let's continue with the next concept of a line. We have here the different types of slope. So, meron tayong different types of slope. Actually, apat yan. Yung una natin is yung tinatawag natin positive slope. Simple description lang. Pag sinabi natin positive slope, it is a straight line or it is a straight line that rises from left papuntang right. So, tandaan nyo na lang buti. It rises or tumataas siya from left Right. Ibig sabihin nito guys, kapag nakakita kayo ng ganitong klaseng line, yung makakalculate yung slope is automatically a positive slope. Okay? If meron tayong positive slope, definitely, meron din tayong negative slope. Yung negative slope natin is yung, green, yung blue one. Ito. So, ano yung pinaka uh, simple description natin dito? Negative, a slope with the negative slope, ah uh, sorry, a line, with a negative slope, ang pinaka kanyang slant ay it rises from right. Pansan niyo mabuti itong blue na ito ha. Mababa siya sa right at umangat siya papunta sa left. So it rises from right to left. So automatic, kapag nakakita kayo ng ganyang klase ng slope, ang magiging value ng slope nyo is a negative slope. Now, ito naman tayo. So green one. This green one, is kapag nag-calculate kayo yung slope ng ganitong klaseng line, ang makukuha nyo ay zero slope. So, simple description lang. You can get a zero slope if your line is parallel to the x-axis. Okay, this is your x-axis. If your line is parallel to your x-axis, automatic ang makuha mo or makakalculate mong value ng slope is 0. So, what about this one? Dito naman, meron din tayong undefined slope. So, simple description lang. When you encounter this kind of line, definitely, when you calculate the slope, automatic, undefined. So, wala siyang value. Ang nangyayari kasi dyan, kapag nag-calculate kayo, yung run kasi nito is, is equal to 0. So, ang nangyari dito, the denominator is 0. 
So again, these are the different types of slope. We have the positive slope, the negative slope, zero slope, and undefined slope. Ihabu ko lang. Simple description for the undefined slope. Yung line is parallel to your y axis. Ayun yung ating yan, undefined slope. So I hope na makuha nyo agad to para maging sure kayo sa magiging sagot nyo when you are trying to calculate for the slope. So let's continue with the next part. Ang next part naman natin is that we will now calculate for the slope of a line. Ito ah, the first one is given yung graph. Okay, kapag given yung graph. And then later on, we will continue if given naman yung mismong equation and two points. So let's start here. Now, if you have this kind of given and then you're asked to determine the value of slope, pwede mong gamitin dito yung ito. M is equal to rise over run. So, sir, paano ginagamit yan? Ito lang. You need two points. Or you need two distinct points sa isang graph. Let's say, for example, here in number one. In number one, we have this line. Pero check muna natin, eh. Kanina, meron tayong types of slope. And as you can see, this line rises from right to left. So, we will expect that the value of slope here is negative. So, check natin kung tama yung, ano natin, yung, yung type ng slope natin. Okay. So, for number one, here's our calculation. From this point, we will go up hanggang sa matapatan natin yung point na to. As you can see, that is one unit. That is your rise. So, we have one. Now, for the run, eto siya. If your run... Ang direction ng run mo is from right, from right papuntang left, magiging negative yung value ng run. So let's count. We have, I have to use the other the other ink. Okay. Ang run natin mula sa point na to, 1, 2, and 3. So as you can see, we have 3 units, pero since ang ating direction is from right to left, that is negative 3. And to simplify this, 1 over negative 3, your slope is negative 1 over 3. Dapat ganito yan. Yan. So as you can see, based pa lang sa ating types of slope, we already identified that the value of our slope is negative. Okay, let's continue. This is number 2. For number 2 naman, look at this line. This one is a positive slope. Ngayon, check natin kung paano. Yung iba ng ginagawa nila, nagbabasa sila sa, sila sa y-axis. So, they will count here pataas. So, count tayo. 1, 2, and 3. Yun yung ating rise. For the run naman, as you can see, yung run natin, ang direction niya from 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 left to right. Kasi mula tayo rito, papunta tayo sa point na to. So, we have to count one unit. So, as you can see, yung ating run is positive 1. Now, to simplify that, m is equal to 3 over 1, which is equal to 3. And this is the value of slope. And definitely, this is positive slope. Let's continue with item number 3. For number 3, your m, kunin natin, Rise muna tayo, ah. From this point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Meron tayong 6 as the value of rise over. So, run naman natin. From ano tayo, from right to left, negative yan, guys. 1 and 2. So, we have negative 2. So, lagay nga natin dito para mas matandaan niya. Negative 2 and 6 dito naman ay 1 and negative 3. Dito is 3 and 1. Check natin. M 
is equal to 6 over negative 2, that is definitely negative 3. So, pasok pa rin siya sa negative slope, guys. Let's continue with the last one, this, and this is number 4. So, let's calculate for the slope. Okay, from this point, up here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we have 7 units for the rise. For the run naman, we will count from this point up to the here, 1, 2, 3. So, we have 3. So, our run now is equal to 3. And we have a positive slope. Okay? So, I hope guys na nakuha nyo itong ano natin, yung ways, na, ways natin on how to calculate for the value of slope if given yung graph. In the next part of our video, we will do given the equation and two points in line. Now, let's continue. We have here, find the slope of a line and we will use this format para mas madali natin ma-identify yung value natin slope or m. y is equal to mx plus b. We know in this kind of formula, your m here, m is your slope at yung b natin is your y-intercept. So we only we are only asked to find the slope. So given this line or given this equation, again, uh, kanina ang ginawa natin given yung graph. Right now we are given the equation y is equal to negative five x minus one. So as you can see, your m or your slope is the coefficient of your x term. Definitely, this is your slope. So we will write here m is equal to negative 5. This given is quite simple kasi naka, ano na siya? Naka slope intercept form ng ating equation. Okay, this is our answer. The slope is negative 5. Now let's continue with letter B. For letter B, this one is not yet in slope intercept form. So we need to write this equation in slope intercept form like this one. So what we need to do is we need to eliminate 2x so we will subtract so instead of using transposition ito muna gagamitin ko we have to subtract 2x both sides of the equation ang purpose ito is to eliminate 2x so we can cancel this one kasi magiging 0 na siya so what we have now is 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 9 so ang target natin dito is to isolate the variable y meaning we need to remove this 3. So we will divide both sides of the equation or each term by 3, by 3, and by 3. So we can cancel this out. Cancel this out. You have your y is equal to negative 2x over 3 for this. At para naman dito, 9 over 3 is plus 3. So hindi ito sagot natin eh. Kasi pinapanap sa atin ay yung slope. So, ang slope natin dito is the coefficient of your x term. You number mismo dito, or kahit fraction pa yan. Meaning, the value of m is equal to negative 2 over 3. And this is the answer here, guys. So, medyo madali lang to, guys. And let's continue with the last one. For the last one, remember, ha? We have the graph. We have the equation, and right now, given yung coordinates ng two points. And we will follow this formula. Slope m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And ito yung pinatektik dito guys. Nilagyan natin label yung bawat coordinate natin dito. Like here. Yung first ordered pair natin is 8, 10. Meaning, sila yung maging recipient ng x sub 1 sa y sub 1. This is your x sub 1. This is your y sub 1. Next, negative 7, 14. This will be your x sub 2. Because ito your second ordered pair natin. Then y sub 2. Bakit ko nalagyan label? Kasi nga, para mag-substitute na lang tayo sa ating formula. So, let's continue. m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. 
your y sub 2 is 14. So we have here 14 minus your y sub 1, which is 10. So y, 14 minus 10 over x sub 2 is negative 7. Then from the original formula, negative or minus your x sub 1, which is 8. Right now, ang target natin dito is to simplify this. 14 minus 10 is definitely equal to 4 over negative 7 minus 8 is negative 15. So we will finalize our answer. Your m right now is definitely negative 4 over 15. No more simplification, guys. This is the answer. So let's continue for number for letter B. For letter B, Let's put some label, x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So what will happen here, m is equal to, directa na natin, y sub 2 is 2, minus, from the original formula, your y sub 1 is 1, so 2 minus 1, over your x sub 2 which is negative 17, from the original formula, we have minus, then x sub 1 is equal to negative 3, so times negative 3. So whenever you are uh, substituting the value of x sub 1 sa y sub 1, and that is negative, you will enclose it by parentheses. Let's continue. 2 minus 1 is definitely equal to 1 over negative 17. Then this, you can multiply the, the signs. Negative times negative is positive, so this is plus 3. So we can still simplify this. 1 over negative 17 plus 3 is negative 14. So what we have now as our slope, m is equal to negative 1 over 14. And this is the answer, guys. So yun, guys. I hope na natuto kayo sa mismong video natin and ito na yung pinaka-concept ng slope ang dami na natin ginawa dito medyo mahaba yung video pero I hope na you learn something from this video about the concept of slope types of slope and the different ways on how to calculate or get the value of slope given the graph equation and two points so if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!